about it and they fill in that detail. Really. Welcome, welcome. Uh, today I thought I would do a book review and the book is um, basically one of the ones that I've been absolutely blown away by. Would probably say it's um, been my uh, favourite read so far of the year, which is quite a big thing actually because I've read quite a few books so far. Um, but it is The Magic of Recluse by Ali Medesit. I guess Medesit. This is by uh, no means a new book. I think it was released in 1991. Um, I did mention it in my August TBR, so I'll link that below if you'd like to see. Basically, it was recommended to me uh, by my boyfriend, who's an avid reader of fantasy and was always trying to get me to read more. Um, I put it off for quite a long time because, um, as you probably know, I'm more into sci-fi and crime. But uh, yeah, this is an epic book. Five stars, absolutely. Okay, so the premise of this book is you're introduced into a world where there are two warring kind of forces at play. And you have order, which tends to be a force for good, but isn't always. And then you have chaos, which tends to be a force for um, evil, I suppose, but again, isn't always. So to give you an overview, it really is as it sounds. So order would be being healthy, being tidy, putting things away as they were. Um, and then chaos would be the complete opposite of that. So untidy, unwell built, not healthy, um, chaotic in nature. Um, within this world, you are told about the journey of a man called Leris. So you start the book off um, with Leris in his village um, on this particular island. And essentially you're given a little bit about his life and where he is and then you're told the fact that he's basically asked to leave the island. And this is because he is kind of, or anyone really as I say, anyone who is unsettled, um, unfocused or a danger to the community um, is asked to leave to kind of preserve the order of the community. They can be either exiled or choose to be exiled or they can choose to go on a thing called a danger guard. So the danger guard essentially is a quest or a journey or a, a pilgrimage that they are sent on if they don't want to be exiled or they have to complete something and then they can choose to come back to the community or not as they desire or see fit at the end of it. Um, so in the danger guild they're given training and this is training on weapons, this is also training on geography and politics, um, on monetary things of the world and basically once that's completed they're then sent out on their journey. So that's kind of the setting and the book follows Leris on his danger guild. So it follows him when he goes out, um, introduced to the world, finds out about it, meets different people, moves through his journey to, to complete this um, quest. Um, and it's really about him learning about the world and his place in it and then generally about this magic or these forces. It's really hard <laughs> to say much more about it without giving away some of the elements. So the good points in this would be writing style. Honestly blown away. The writing style is beautiful. It's extremely descriptive um, but it is one of those books that when you're reading it you feel like you're completely just watching it in your mind's eye rather than you're reading a book. The detail is very heavy but it's stunningly written. Really really love the writing style of this book. You you completely can see every concept he's describing, every building he described, everything they're looking at, you can definitely see it and the way it's built up around you and the way it's written is just, I can't say it more, beautiful, beautiful writing style. And uh, one of the other good things about this book is that you find out about things as Lois finds out about things. Initially frustrating, the first section of the book, I kind of felt like I was missing things. I was like, did I miss a sentence or did I miss where they described what that was? But actually, as you can read further and they fill in that detail that you were missing or that concept you were missing, missing um, when Lara finds out about it, it's so satisfying. And it kind of gives this really interesting um, thing of, of seeing the world as he sees it, this small thing. And then as he goes out and learns more, you learn more as well. And I just thought it was a really interesting way of telling the story and also getting you to understand how he kind of was also learning these things rather than giving much more information and seeing him go through the world you're kind of doing it jointly or at least that's how it felt to me i thought it was really well done um the other really good thing about this book is that things seem to occur as they would occur or um as, as when i was reading it i would think if you met somebody it felt like it was a natural way of meeting somebody or if um 
a fight occurred, it was kind of like, yeah, that actually conceptually would happen. Nothing felt like it was forced just to move the story along. Um, yeah, which again was really, really awesome because I, I really hate it when things feel forced or um, put just as a plot point. There were some negative things or at least, you know, when you like a book and you're just trying to think about what, what, could be seen as a negative thing about that. I always like to do that when I'm reading. <laughs> um, but um, one of the things, one of the main things I guess I would say is not a lot happens. Like you get to the end of your book and you try and think back of everything that went through, not a lot happens. It's not a, a huge sweeping fantasy epic. It's not full of battles. There's no political intrigue. But although it's a very simple concept, it's a really gripping story. I could not put this book down. I read it in a weekend and it's one of the first books I've read in ages that made me stay up late into the night to try and get through it. The other thing I would say is that things are resolved very quickly when you get to it. Um, but again, I would say that the journey is the point of the story. So the fact that it resolved quickly, I didn't really mind because how we got there was, was so well done that I was just like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All in all, an amazing book, uh, gorgeous, five stars, absolutely five stars. It gave me a bit of a book hangover, which is unfortunate. Um, so at the end of August, I was like, I have no idea what to read next um, because I was blown away. I have been told the next in the series isn't a direct follow-on, um, which is a little bit frustrating, but also um, it would be good to read more about the world and see some of the other characters. Um, so maybe that's where they'll go, I don't know, but definitely gonna be reading um, several more in the series at least. Um, so yeah, that's my basically just going on about how much I love this book for a while, but <laughs> let me know if you read it and if you like it or didn't. It'd be nice to know if you didn't, why you didn't. Um, I always think that's really fun, although obviously it's very heartbreaking reading bad reviews of books you love, but it's also very um, thought-provoking sometimes I find. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you in the next video.